So hello and welcome guys, um, I will be doing some story modes. So the next chapter is chapter 4, where we have to go and investigate some object that we found, or that HK55 found out in some forest that we landed in. So, let's get started with that. So yeah, I will uh, try to get as much content out before uh, the new expansion comes out. Like I know there's a trailer here coming on October the 7th that might get some more information on when we can actually expect something. So let's see, we have to go far out. To investigate technological object. All right, righto. Work, work. Can I just go through here? Probably not. No, I can't. And uh, most of you will probably have realized right now that I've gotten a new microphone. I bought uh, the Snowball microphone, just the standard version without the additional two uh, modes. I uh, generally read some reviews and based on that uh, the Snowball is a decent microphone, very decent. You have to be fairly close to the microphone to actually get the recording quality you want, but apart from that, I think it is very nice. Leave the meat bag alone. <laughs> I love the HK's version of human meat bag, especially because I had a course where um, we were looking at a fitness app for the iPhone that was using this Apple version of uh, health information database where you were being called a meat bag by the internal AI system. Horribly. And yeah, so it's just funny that it's actually calling you a meat bag. Right, let's see where we go. We go through the next one. More technological objects. Protection services online. Probably can't enter. Yeah, let's just cheat anyway. You act more like a bodyguard than an assassin. Is that your primary function? Confirmation. It is a very difficult task indeed. That I've kept Masters Benico and Vortena alive. Despite their high risk activities, yeah. is Should my I, like, achievement. The two Kill of them stuff. seem close. Deflection. I am not programmed to assess or discuss know. the emotional matters of meat bags I under my don't protection. Care. Uh huh. Like, unless they follow me. Okay, they follow me. Let's get this out of the way before anything. No one harms my master. Plus one to kill counter. Now it's nice that I'm low 65 because previously I was like when I had my level 60 character token this was a pain in the ass. Die At least when horribly. you want to push forward. Target has 
achieved deadness. <laughs> Those comments from HK is brilliant. He is such a wonderful character. And he's so evil compared to the uh, other droid we have. Forgot his name. Weird guy. Uh, can I see him? No, I can't. Can I see him here? Yeah, 2 r 8 Which is very much like a chicken in terms of combat. He tells you I, that he cannot do combat. Which is like... Probably not what you're looking for. Speak to... Oh, oh shit. Um... Admiration. It is a great pleasure to witness your skills firsthand, Master. Well, master. Clarification. Master Benico altered my programming before we secured your release. I am to serve you with the same unexcelled loyalty with which I serve her. In fact, your survival is now my highest priority. If I'm your highest priority, does that mean you obey me above Lana or Koth? Caveat. I cannot accept any order from you that would directly endanger Masters Benico or Vortana. Otherwise, I am at your full disposal. Do I have the authority to modify that programming? Contradiction. Yes, oddly enough, you do. Though I can't imagine why you might wish to. When it comes to my orders, you will remove all safeguards. You will obey me no matter what, and you won't tell anyone about this change. Reprioritization. I think I have this is going to be a very interesting companion. Resumption. Shall we continue? Yes, we shall. Did it actually teleport me back? Yeah, it did. Uh, okay, fair enough. Did for the very best teleport me back. Again, is this the object you picked up on your senses? Confirmation. Yes, Master. A closer scan suggests that this object has been here for several centuries. Oh, and my companion just arrived. Oh, my other companion. Centuries? Of all the junk out here, you had to find the antique. Observation. Visible design elements do not match any from Zakulan culture, antique or modern. Not from Zakul. Could it be? He doesn't overthink things. Haha! <laughs> Do you have any idea what this is? It looks like some kind of old spacecraft. This is the Gravestone! This was the only ship that ever went up against the Eternal Fleet and won! Do you have any idea how long people have been looking for this thing? And we just happened to stumble upon it. You said this ship went up against the Eternal Fleet and won, but it's rusting in a swamp while the fleet is still around. The fleet is even older than Valkoria, maybe even older than Zakul. 
The battles happened centuries ago. Nobody knows the details of the whole war, but every story talks about the Gravestone. One ship with the firepower to take on the Eternal Fleet. This is fate. We get your Outlander. Find exactly the weapon we need. Destiny. We're going to win this thing, Lana. It's destiny. It's certainly no coincidence, but destiny? I think there's something else going on here. I'm with Lana. Destiny is a bedtime story. Believe what you want. I'll take what fate sends my way. Let's have a look inside, huh? Assessment. Nearby signs of animal activity suggest local predators may be using this wreck as a nesting ground. Caution is advised. No we'll split up. Deal with any wildlife, then regroup to plan our next move. Oh no, please Stay not cough. I don't want to have cough. Can he just die? I really don't like this guy. I can do this all day. Sure. Or where that came from. Wouldn't mind a challenge now and then. Took one out. Kelly, mm -hmm. 16, 17, 22. Target down. These creatures are hardly cunning. Their usual prey is a challenge. Now, man. Yeah! Clearing these things out? Very easy! Easiest thing ever! Um, okay, there is some stairs, but I'm not gonna choose them. I can do this all day. Target down! Took one out. More where that came from. Use the airlock. Or open it, I guess. Or enter, even. Yeah. Might. Oh my god. I'm sitting like the a horse. endless swamp. After the damage you inflicted, they couldn't have made a safe landing anywhere else. And if they didn't make a safe landing? We'll know soon enough. Sky Troopers, sweep the area. Focus on regions with high metallic sensor readings. I oversaw security in the Carbonite prison. I... I humbly submit myself to answer for this failure. Oh, he's so dead. Called it. Sister. I didn't like his answer. So this ship has been here for a thousand years? More? Right. It's amazing that it's in such good condition. Considering, the judging by the damage I've seen, really the stories are true. Here. Whoever built the gravestone scuttled it themselves after the Eternal Fleet was defeated. It wasn't shot down. The fleet was defeated but not destroyed. Valkorion brought it back under his own control more than a century ago. Exactly. The Eternal Fleet is totally automated. Nobody knows who first built it, and every theory is crazier than the last. Renegades left behind after a successful droid revolution. Representatives of an entire race of droids from somewhere beyond the edge of the known galaxy. Like I said, crazy stuff. But no matter where it came from, the Eternal Fleet is practically unstoppable. And Arkin controls every single ship from the throne. 
So if we defeat Arkan, the Eternal Fleet isn't a problem anymore? So long as the throne goes to someone other than his sister, yes. Regardless, we have many other things to discuss. I owe you five years' worth of explanations. And I'm gonna need some parts to get this thing moving again. Locating supplies and fresh water would also be wise. I'll help you find what we need, Lana. Very well. A session. I will begin a patrol pattern to ensure that no enemy forces report our position. Mm-hmm. Alright, so what are we doing? Apparently I have to go over there. Take readings from groundwater. Sure, fair enough. There is a temp quest. Broken speeder. Well, it's a new speeder. So, what the hell? And it's on the way, so can't be better than that. Find the what? Find the repulse. Oh, there it is. Repulse lift. This might be when. Yeah. So if you like a level sixty and doesn't have a speeder. I think this is where you get your speeder. J just a waggy thought. Because it's clearly planted just to give you the opportunity to get a speeder. And if you've been playing like since last expansion, who hasn't made this? Who hasn't made his own speeder? Yeah, so. Is it down there? Of course it is. And attach the actual parts to something over there. So pick up three things and you get a bike, yeah, or a speeder, whatever you call it. That's really not how it's supposed to work. It's usually, okay, so you grind these three world bosses three times each and if you're lucky they drop the loot you need. And if not, well, you can try again next time. going we will make them fall somewhat worthy opponent challenge accepted and met oh there it is
When Darth Ma and I faced Valkorion, we knew right away. He was the Sith Emperor, Lana. I know. When he was struck down, it released ripples through the Force. Everyone who had felt the Sith Ugh, Emperor's presence in the past, becoming quite on Zyost, on Yavin 4, we all sensed what had happened. Arkan invaded soon after, claiming that an outlander had assassinated his father, the immortal Emperor. It didn't take long for us to unravel the truth. Which side did Arkan attack first? Both. Ships from the Eternal Fleet struck at shipyards and rallying points for both sides simultaneously. They favored ambush tactics throughout the war. The Kulin sensor technology has far greater range than our own, and their ships can fly much further on less resources. Only vessels retrofitted with Isotope 5 could manage to outrun them. None could truly compete. So, moving on. So that was basically a lot of talk about we can't do shit. Like we can't compete with their weapons, we can't do this, we can't do that. Basically they can conquer the whole universe. We will make them fall. Sure, sure. Somewhat worthy opponent. More story. How long did the Republic and the Empire manage to hold out? Within three months, the bulk of our naval forces were disabled or eliminated, and the Republic was in the same situation. With naval superiority, Arkan's forces could begin choking off supply lines, trade, any ship travel at all. The Eternal Fleet seemed to be everywhere at once. Coruscant and Drom and Kars were blockaded by the end of the first year. the opponent. Twelve thousand. Oh, I wish a Shara was here. She's so much hot. More hot. What do you say? How did it end? Hot the members of the Dark Council fought Arkans' invasion ruthlessly and lost. The Empire's treaty was ultimately negotiated by the Minister of Logistics. Chancellor Suresh also refused to discuss surrender. But the Republic Senate managed to overrule her. A cadre of senators negotiated their own ceasefire terms. All of those senators have since been disgraced or dismissed. I'm sure you can imagine the likely culprit. What of my power base? Moff Pyron? The silencers? Many of the vessels equipped with the silencers were lost in the initial fighting. The rest disappeared along with the Pyron somewhere in the far outer rim. It is presumed that they were ambushed by the Eternal Fleet, but no wreckage has been found. We must carry on without them. So far, the treaties with Zakul have held. But that will not last forever. Because I am back. Mainly. Also because Zakul is being ruled by bitches. And a girl. Not that being ruled by a girl is generally wrong, but being ruled by a that sister is very, very interesting. Oh, I've served the entire map. How great am I? Personal face. Sounds intimate. I don't want to fight like. All kind of weird stuff. This guy is what I want to fight. The regret facing us. Somewhat worthy opponent. Alright. Uh, oh, over 
here, there's a ramp up. Let's take it. Speak to Allah. A freshwater spring. It should be safe for drinking. And let's hope we can get to it. Saucer. Oh, I see that look. So the Eternal Fleet overwhelmed both the Republic and the Empire. What was the result? Both sides are forced to pay a heavy tribute to Zakul, mainly raw materials and resources. They're also held under an arms limitation statute. The Empire and the Republic are both breaking it, of course, but they're still incapable of challenging the throne directly. Who rules the Empire now? Darth Asina was the only Dark Council member left standing. All others died or disappeared in the chaos. Without opposition, she declared herself Empress of the Sith. And the Republic? Suresh remains in power, though she no longer holds the title of Chancellor. The Republic has limits to their ruler's terms but her replacement is a mere puppet. Both sides see this only as an opportunity to eliminate one another at a time of weakness, instead of combining what strength they have. Yeah, that's not really their best Arkan does tool. nothing to prevent violence between them, so long as their tribute is paid and no one challenges Zakul's superiority. Asina cannot stand against me. Take me back to the Empire, and I'll hold the throne in a matter of hours. Neither Empress Asina nor the Republic are our most pressing concern. We cannot make use of their resources yet. Powerful Zakulan battle stations have been placed in orbit around key worlds to watch for possible uprisings. But there are no ongoing planetary occupations. The ships of the Eternal Fleet simply patrol at random, while the tribute paid to Zakul gradually chokes all economic potential. What about my team? My ship. I have allies looking for them as we speak. With all of the chaos of the last few years, though, it will take time to find them all. For now, we make do with ourselves, Koth, and HK. As long as you are here, there's nothing we can't handle. The feeling's mutual. It truly is a relief to see you again. Is that why you went to so much trouble to rescue me? Before you were captured, you accomplished things no one else dared to attempt. You changed the galaxy more than once, and if things have ever needed to change, now is the time. I love this storyline. But there is something else. Uh, I've felt it since the moment I found you in Carbonite. There's a power in you, something new. It's elusive, but I know it's there. I think you're right, Lana. I think the Emperor Valkorian is in my mind. Dun, dun, what? Dun. After he died, there was a storm of energy. I barely even remember being thrown into the carbon freezing chamber. And then, while I was frozen, I saw things. Dreamed about him, about everything that happened while I was gone. It can't be. If he were controlling you, I'd know it. I certainly saw enough of it on Zyost. He doesn't control me. He's not strong enough. All of his power is just an illusion. Deception is his greatest tool, yes, but we shouldn't discount his influence so quickly. I believe in you. And I appreciate your honesty. I'll remain watchful for any influence he might have over you. For the time being, though, we have no choice but to proceed. What about the others? They wouldn't understand. And like you said, we really don't know anything for sure yet. Let's keep the matter between us for now. Oh, no cuddling. No. <gasps> Salutation. It is a pleasure to see you again so soon, Masters. I have encountered minimal resistance in my patrol. How minimal? Reassurance. Only one Sky Trooper and three local predators with poor survival instincts. Our position appears to be secure at this time, but I would still advise caution on your return trip, Masters. 
Keep up the good work, HK. Appreciation. It will be my pleasure to do so, Master. <laughs>